Power World is a survival crafting game full of all these wild types of creatures called pals. I'm going to be spending the next 100 days attempting to beat this map. To do this, I must defeat all the 5 tower bosses and their OP pals. To give myself an extra challenge, I will be catching and completing my pal deck, which currently has 137 pals. I'm Phoenix Mech, and join me as I push the boundaries of strategy, skill, and determination in this 100 days of Power World. Ah, day one. I awaken on a beach surrounded by a bunch of cute little critters. They scatter and I spot a strange tablet in the sand. It displays a strange message. The towers are the key. The tree holds the truth. Tree? What tree? What towers? I was confused and lost. Oh, I'm at windswept hills. Okay, well, now I'm just confused. But I do know survival games and I know you gotta hit stuff and pick it up. Come on, get some, get some, get some. Oh, fighting. Oh, roll down. I got into my first fight with a cotton ball and I won. Oh, that's nicer than the tutorial up top. So I started trying to work on that. Putting down a little workbench and the cotton ball's friend oh. wanted to come up on me while I was trying to build up. Trying to start with me. Day one and I'm already an expert cotton ball buster. I would need to get some weapons though, as there was probably tougher things than cotton balls out there. Like this lady here. Apparently she was having a rough time. Stink pals, we don't like them. Night was a little too cold for me to be running about, so I hung by the fire, where she told me about pal steers. If I made some, I could catch some pals. That's one way to get some friends. Day two started off with me placing a campfire and cooking up some cotton ball kebabs. Mm hmm. I wanted to get some pal spears, but it seemed like I needed something called Paldium Fragment. I went out exploring a little to find a strange blue rock. This looks like something that would give me those fragments. And it was. I just started whacking it with the only tool that I had. Which probably wasn't the best, but I got the fragments. So who cares? When I got back, I made some better tools to help me harvest a bit better. And found that you can also get Paldium Fragments from stone nodes as well. I made myself as many pal spears as I could, and I set out to find some pals. The way you catch a pal is you have to attack and weaken them to the point where you can throw a pal spear to catch them. I feel like I've heard this before somewhere. I needed to make a pal box in order to have my new pal at the base. I palled around with my new pal where they helped me with some chores and I made them a nice little bed to sleep in. You're going to hear a lot of the word pal in this uh, video, so uh, <laughs> buckle up. I realized I didn't even have a bed at this point, which is like survival game 101. In order to place a bed, I'd have to have a structure with a roof. I had a little trouble with the placement, but I built myself a tiny 2x2 two two house. There we go. Day 3, I should have been making a bed, but instead I ran and became the cotton ball master, capturing all the cotton balls I could. Each pal needed a place to sleep, so I made each of them a bed as well, which my first buddy helped with. And I finally got around to placing a bed myself. With all these new mouths to feed, I had to place down a feed box so everyone could eat yummy goodies. Here we go, let's go. Oh, he's on fire. Oh my god. I felt like I was moving through the tutorial pretty quickly, but I gotta be honest. I just didn't want all those tasks hovering overhead for so long, made me feel like I gotta do all this stuff all the time. So I found myself working through these nights, gathering and placing down a berry plantation, which would allow me to grow berries for food. Day 4. Up until this point, I had been following the prompts to upgrade my base. The higher the level, the more pals I could have, so this was a good thing to work on. I spent most of the day gathering the materials to build a pal gear workbench and a Lucario shrine. I rearranged my house so I didn't have a big hole in it anymore and made myself some clothes finally, so I could go out during the night. This whole time I was running around naked and uh, getting frostbite on my, on my bits. This big guy kept hanging around my base, which made me nervous since it was level 35, and could probably wreck my whole life if I made the wrong move. So for now, I will just let you sleep. Day 5 was a start to a wonderful day, just making things with my pals. That all changed when the Syndicate attacked. Syndicate? Who the heck is this? These ninjas with the guns just straight up rolled up on our base. Oh, they got guns? They were no match for my cotton balls, though. Yeah, nice. You get a lot of good stuff from these guys when they're defeated. Guys, cotton ball army, messing them up. Nice. <laughs> As quickly as they came, they went, and I just went back to doing what I had planned for the day. I wanted to make a ranch, but you can have certain pals make and produce certain items for you. So I wanted to catch some chickens, and some pink kitties got in the mix, so I caught them too. Like you and your friend. The chicken bees made eggs in the ranch, and the lamb balls will make wool passively. More base upgrades to be made with the logging site, which I'd be able to get wooden fiber from. I don't know if these cats are really my friends. 
they kind of just ended up here. More gathering happened on day six as I needed enough resources to make the stone pit, which would give me stone. With each tech I added to the base, more and more perks were unlocked. The kitties loved the stone pit. This guy's going to be at it all day long. I also made the crusher with a crushed stone to get pallium fragments. Everyone was doing such a good job around the base, I made them a bar to hang out at. Well, I guess they were poop since no one ordered drinks and they left the ranch a sloppy mess. I wasn't high enough level to unlock the next tech upgrade to my base, so it looks like I'd have to go out exploring a little bit for some new pals. The hot tub was next on day 7 to help all my buddies relax, but it needed something called pal juice to make. Uh, I wasn't sure what that meant. I hope it didn't mean anything too menacing to my pals. I didn't dwell it on too much and I made some weapons to head out for some more pals. Capturing new ones was a great way to get some XP. I caught me a Flareon and a Piplup. These pangolets were the ones holding onto the pal juice, so that's good to know. I didn't have to grind up my little buddies or something else gross. I also found a tan ditto wearing a plant pot as a hat. So you're coming with me too. I was getting really good at capturing pals and I was able to move a little bit quicker. I found another fast travel point as well as some new pals. Man, it's ghetto over here. They were all jumping this deer. I made my way all the way down to the Rain Syndicate Tower. At nighttime, it seems like there was different pals available, and I managed to get a lower level one, but a lot of these guys had some weird attacks and higher levels. Combat. Ooh. Walk right into that one. Well, he gonna kill me. He gonna kill me. Let's get out of here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I found a lot of good stuff this day. On the morning of day 8, I looked over my newly acquired pals, and in their charts, it shows you what tasks they're good at. So I tried to get a mix of a few different ones to handle all the different tasks at hand. Everything was getting bigger, so I figured this would be a good time to search for a better base location that I'd be able to expand. I encountered an alpaca, which was a little bit more diesel than anything I've faced so far. Oh. I caught it with a mega sphere. Yeah. I was gonna have him wipe away all my enemies out with the mega spoot. I caught me some Eevees and then I found a spot I'd like to build in, only to find out I needed to increase the level of my guild's base to build another base. I wasn't sure if tearing down my current base was the best move right now, so I just have to wait. So I headed back to my base, and at the end of the night, the syndicate attacked me again. I guess this is a regular thing. Who you attacking? I don't mess him up. Get out. Go blow his ass up. They stupid. <laughs> My whole party rolling up on. <laughs> yeah. You come in here with the bat, dude. I went right back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, we did it, guys. They went right back to bed. <laughs> Day nine started, and my pals were stressed. They were putting a lot of hard work in, and I gotta get them the hot tub. So I spent the day with Flareon, farming up some pangolets for some pal juice. And I also needed to make a furnace which required flame organs. So let's put Flareon away for this one, since I had to hunt down its brethren for organs. Piplup's revenge was in full effect. Tank. Once I had enough, I had them work on a furnace back at base, which can now be used to smelt copper ore into iron ink. This whole time I kept getting notifications about Depresso not working or eating. So it's time to pack you away for a little bit, buddy. I had so many pals, but no nighttime pals. So I took the night to try and grab as many as I could. I got some daydreams. And a Hukrati. Day 10, I was slowly trying to fill in the tasks I needed to be done around base. And some of the new additions helped with that. That's great, since I wanted to keep exploring further than before. I crafted up a saddle for my Milpaka, and I set out. I didn't get far today, though, as I got distracted by all the organs and juice I could get. That and the fact I was more focused on upgrading my base so I could have another base deeper into the map. I was probably going to need more Flareons, as that was the only creature I had with the Kindling ability. Since I brought them with me, I wouldn't have one at base making ingots and food. Day 11, I got raided, and that was nothing. 
I went out to capture some more of the same pals to level up, and I saw a level 9 Nightwing. Flying would be super useful to me, as so I figured I'd give it a try. Let's try. Come on. Come on. Oh no. I didn't get it. No. It didn't work out so well for me. Depending on your settings, you may have to retrieve your bag back. Day 12, I made a higher quality workbench and I made a medieval medicine workbench. Got the bench crafted and saw that it helped with making potions and healing brews. With that addition, I was able to upgrade my base and get access to having an additional base. On day 13, I set out to look for new pals and new possible base location. I found a bunch of new pals. Some I captured, and others I think they were mini bosses. I wasn't trying to get beat up, so I captured what I could before heading home. But before I got there though, there was this one pal Dinosum that kept floating around my base. He was sleeping, so I figured I could get the jump on. Yeah, I know it's logical. Be afraid of the level 11 chill it, but not the level 15 Dinosum. And it ended just the way you would expect. Oh. oh. No. Day 14, I had some new pals that had the lumbering ability, which was great. It seemed like there were pals on every station at my base. So I thought I'd try to journey westward to unlock a new fast travel point and potentially find a new base area. I saw a weird mop party and was a little worried they messed me up. So the task was to explore right now and not get wrecked. Eventually I found a small settlement with some merchants. Dude, what you got? But none that had anything I wanted though. I kept moving forward and somehow I found myself on an effigy hunt. There just happened to be so many of them in this cliffside, there was actually quite a bit of goodies here. On day 15, I found tons of water pals on this beach. I finally managed to get the elephant teapot and the F word duck. I kept accidentally killing them up until this point. Also got me a flying manta ray and found a spark that I finally captured. I went home because I wanted to gear up before attempting to do some cave. And of course, I was welcome home with another raid. Seems like these bums come here every other day. I built my cooler afterwards and got another base upgrade. Day 16. Now, I know I was supposed to be doing caves, but after unlocking more things to upgrade and running out of space, I think it was time to move the base. I know I've been talking about it for at least the past week now, but this was time. So I set off to a new area I wanted to build. It wasn't too far off from the first location and it had a very nice view. There were plenty of resources around and from what I gathered resources spawned back in the base so this spot would be great. In the middle of prepping my new spot I was attacked by wild pals back at the old base. Heard of violent wild pals? Oh no. Which base? This base? Oh they like level 17s. That was fast travel. Oh <gasps> the house is on fire! It's a good thing I was planning on moving. Can we capture these guys? I tried fighting them off as best as I could, but the difference of just a few levels was crazy. Oh, they just gave me less stuff to move. Once I effed off, I had placed some pals at the new spot and already had them working. They must have been working real hard because they managed to upset this man more us. Uh oh. This thing's going to kill everything. Why are they upset? Oh no. He's gonna kill all my pets. Put them in the box. Some of them got messed up, but I tried to pack them away as fast as I could. Recall everybody. He's gonna kill everything. Oh. 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 Why are you mad? Oh. Why are you mad? Um, what's your problem, man? Once I thought it was cool, I let them out again, and they just still wanted to start with this thing. Bro, no, don't start. These guys just hold grudges, I guess. I don't know what's going on with this guy. <laughs> Everyone needs to chill, though. <laughs> Day 17. 
I spent the majority of this day hauling stuff back and forth to build up my new base area. I wasn't too sure of the fence situation, but I knew I needed to keep out these mammoth rests. Hopefully this guy leaves. But another gate right behind him. Get out of here, man. So that's one thing done. I was able to get a house with a work area and I was able to organize a little bit better. I was unsure about all that I needed, but I figured having separate area for tasks would allow me to better expand for any future base upgrades. I like this more, but... Nice. <laughs> one of the things I needed was some wheat seeds and I didn't know where to get some, but I bet they have some at the store, right? These things were expensive, but I'd be able to plant some wheat though, and I'd probably get some more seeds, right? Oh, and look, another raid. Oh, I ain't got time for this. They were attacking my old base, which had nothing there, but since they all jumped me, I just died. No! Oh. I had finally gotten all my stuff to the new spot, and things were looking pretty good. Look at my new place. This is pretty great. I like this. On day 18, I went out to try, try and level some, and I managed to catch a deer. Their friend got me, do. Oh, snap. And then I went back for some revenge. Nice. I kept moving forward, and I found a Nightwing, and he was shiny. My bask in your beam. Are you going to attack me? Oh, you're attacking. Okay. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I don't. I can't do this. I can't do this right now. No. I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this. No. I managed to escape into the little castle area that had many pals I needed more of. Escape, 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 escape. Are you chasing me? He's not chasing me. Okay. He's violent. I got what I needed to, and I dipped out back to my base. I was awakened on day 19 to a twinkly sound and found a big chickpea. There's a shiny guy. Ooh, I'm gonna go get him. This guy was like the super mega version. He had crazy wind and lightning attacks. Ooh. Ooh. Let me get it. Uh, come on. Yes. Is it just a regular one? It's just a regular one? <laughs> oh, they lit. They lit this guy up. <laughs> okay, now we're just going to pop this one in the right instead. <laughs> Get the big boy. Oh, get out of here, man. Yeah, the mammoth rests were definitely a problem. I didn't want another catastrophe like before, so I was finally high enough level to put up some wooden walls. Once things were settled at the base and I had my arrows, I wanted to go out and try to find that Nightwing again. Instead, I ended up fighting Chillit, my first mini boss. Attack. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. You want more attack, maybe? Might not get trapped. Might get trapped. Nice! <laughs> it wasn't too bad. Alright, cool. This day kept going on as I decided to stay out here for the night and I found so many new pals. I caught a Nox and I found another boss arena. 23 boss? Mm-mm. Oh, oh, thank you. Found a few piggies and some fancy looking fox barks. Yeah. Hmm. Alright. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Ruby. 
Day 20 started off with me fighting some syndicate thugs with my gear. Oh, I can catch this guy. Let me catch this guy. <laughs> it was good. And then it wasn't. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <gasps> oh no, let's go. We gotta go. Let's get out of here. Let's go back home. Yes. I really just got out of one bad situation and into another. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Tok Toko implode unit is invading the. Who is that? Ooh. Can we? How big is that? Oh, the guys didn't even come in, but everything was on fire, including me. I'm hot. Oh, no. Are you my guy? Yeah, what are you doing in here? Why am I still hot? It seemed like there was a weird bug that I could not stop being on fire. Come on, man. What? Why am I on fire? I tried to send my water pals to put out the flames and only one of them actually wanted to do the work. Guys, put, put the fire out? Guess I'm just living my best Phoenix life on fire here. Yep. Put all this stuff out. I finally managed to get the flames out by just taking it all down. We're constantly burning. All right, that seemed to work. Extinguishing. You guys, yeah, you guys are all late. Fire aside, everything was looking pretty good. I needed more space, so I figured I could put this egg incubator to use and get some eggs hatching. I thought this rocky one looked cool. It needed a little heater, though, to help it incubate faster. So the fire palace took turns keeping the baby warm. On the morning of day 21, I was greeted by a brand new baby Hyungu. Who the heck's that? Its card said it used to rip the skin off of criminals? Uh, what? This thing. I mean, it's creepy, but a butcher? I think we'll just leave you in here. Okay, time to go fight a bus! I teleported to the fast travel by the tower, and there was a Nightwing waiting, so I figured why not get a flyer? Oh! My guy is just too strong. Okay, hopefully that's the case with this boss. Oh, she thinks she's somebody. Figures, this was an electric guy and I had no ground pals. Oh, it's Electro Buzz. Well, let's just try our best. I started with my strongest Get in pal. there. Ooh. 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 No Flareon. Ooh! Mm-mm! 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 Nope! He! He! <laughs> Alright, we're doing it. You! Pivot up! There we go. Oh, you frozen? That's a serious attack. Alright, I think we're okay. Alright, let's throw you out. Oh! Okay, we're almost halfway there. Oh, they beating them up. Beat him up. Get him. Oh, you're doing pretty good. All right, let's call you back. All right. Next one out. Oh, get him. Get him. We almost got this. We got this. Oh, we got this. Wonder, can I? Can I? No? All right. I didn't want to waste the ball there, but... Let's throw you out. Nice! <laughs> we did it! We did it! And we made it through with no losses. They're both dead. I unlocked a new fast travel, and at the top, I saw a little camp. We got the strongest team around, so let's go. Yeah, flying with my cello ray. Right, boom, done. I kept throwing balls at this dude until I got him. <laughs> Let's keep trying. Let's keep trying. Uh. <laughs> I got spheres to spare, buddy. All right. You get until I get to 60. Come on. 
Oh, ah, I got him. He <laughs> got a work sleep. <laughs> I can't. And then I was rewarded with a Pikachu. And now you're mine. I was also lucky enough to find a Nightwing, so let's try it again. Come on. Woo! And I got my first flyer, which was awesome. I had to go back home to make a saddle for this guy, and of course I met with another raid. I don't know if it's the area or this level, but it's kind of... Oh, on day 22, I started making a Nightwing saddle, and this thing was going to take forever. Here, you deal with this. Make a saddle. I took this time to just relax, because you know what? I've been working really hard palling it out around there, and then finally the saddle was made. Jeez, it only took you forever. I could finally fly! This guy had some crazy attacks, but at flying, he uh, wasn't so great. Kind of slow, and the stamina wasn't great, so maybe this gets better with time? I remember there being a cave near the boss tower, so on day 23, I figured I'd try my luck in there. Yeah, sure. Nightwing was allowed in here with me, which is so OP. With Nightwing, I was able to take care of all these thugs no problem. Powered. And it was fun exploring the cave. I found all sorts of new pals. A Futter and a Mao. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Taff. Come on. Alright. Even this little squid thing. Kill a mark. Sucking out their insides. Wow. At the end of the cave, I was met with the Super Saiyan Sonic. I captured one of its babies and Sonic himself. Alright. Maybe catch it. <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Oh, I got it! <laughs> oh, look at the little babies. Teleported myself out and I got back to base to check out the new pals. Sonic was kind of useless to me right now in terms of work, but maybe could be useful later. I also got a Tomback and a Gale Claw from eggs I hatched, which it seems like every egg was at level 1. Day 24, I was hoping to put some of the new buddies to work, but they didn't want to listen. I needed to unlock the fluffy pal bed to get my next base upgrade. So I figured I'd take this psycho out for a little leveling up. Now let's see what this monster can do. Oof. Ooh. Man. You guys are too strong. <laughs> You're already too strong. I fought some dire hells for the first time and managed to capture them as well. At the end of the night, Nightwing and I found ourselves in another camp. They were easily defeated, and a Mal Christ is what we were rewarded with. Christ? Chris? I'm saying Christ for the rest of this uh, playthrough here, so correct me if I'm wrong. Day 25 was spent with more exploring, as I was going to need an area with a lot of metal. I found another camp, and these guys were a little tougher. I almost didn't think I'd make it. Okay. Not strong enough for this. Yeah. This guy's all gonna come up here. Okay, maybe we could do it like this. This guy's over here trying to throw bombs. Aren't we doing okay? They come up here one at a time, then we're good. Okay, okay. Where's this other guy at? Where he at? Give me your stuff. Give me your monies. I think we might be okay. Managed to get a Jolt Hold Christ out of this one. Ooh. Close to the camp, I came across some new pals called Kelpsies. I didn't get very many as I needed to head back home for food and to unload all the new stuff I got. Hey, you guys are hungry. Took a nearby fast travel to get home. I had collected some eggs on my journey and I had them slowly incubating. Iron ore was starting to become a problem as more items were requiring it. It took a while to smell and I was learning how some pals were kind of useless despite looking cool. On day 26, my eggs hatched and I received two Noxes. Nox? Nox I? Hmm. I also got some spiffy new digs. I had to figure out a way to build a more effective working base. I didn't know if it was something I needed to unlock or just a matter of how much I had, but it took me all day to craft the nails I needed to make the fluffy pal bed. It was already night by the time I was able to build any beds, but that made my base level 13, which seemed to task me with some pretty expensive items. 
And all those ingots. Day 27 was spent leveling the captured pals and exploring since I needed to find a new location for a mining metal base. Found another camp which happened to have a pal called a Dew Mud. Very fortunate as this pal had level 2 mining which would definitely help me with a new mining base. On day 28 I hit the mother load of iron. I found this super flat spot with all these juicy iron nodes. So I got to work. Placed a new pal box and got some mining, woodworking, and handling pals at the base. While Doomud and his pals smashed, I spent the day building up a fence. Unfortunately because I did this, I forgot that everyone needed a bed and all the poop pals just passed out wherever because of their hard work. I felt so bad I spent the night building them beds so they could use it tomorrow since that seems to be my thing. Into day 29, I'd have to build up the base like I did the other and I'd have to have some food as well as a place to work. So there's a bit of traveling in between the bases, but apparently today was raid day. Had some syndicate scrubs at the main base that weren't too difficult to deal with. And then I had some fangirls who can't contain their love. What is this? Well, they didn't put up much of a fight and I was able to catch three of them. Oh, we got one. We got two of these guys. Oh, that was weird. It turns out they were actually pretty useful. Okay. <laughs> Love Ender. I also had my eggs constantly incubating, which gave me new pals all the time. I got a serpent, which I put to work at the new base, but they didn't seem to do that much. <sighs> on day 30, I kept working hard on the new base as a few pals weren't too happy with the conditions. Found there were really no rocks close by, so I was going to need a few things to make the conditions a little bit better. Also got a few more eggs hatch, which gave me a Cinemoth and an Arsons. I was getting a lot of pals lately that would be very helpful for the new mining base. Day 31. Seems like every day I was getting raided, but it didn't seem too bad at this point anymore. I needed some more levels, so I went out to capture some more pals. Took down another camp and got another do mud. Then I went through a dungeon capturing some butters, mouths, kilimari, and some daydreams. The boss was a Hucrates, which I captured as well. I was on a capturing spree. On day 32, my travels took me out to a level 23 bronze cherry boss. This would be a great capture. That's really bad. Mm. Getting close. Let's get you in there. Come on. Man, regular pal spears weren't going to do it anymore. No! Uh. Shortly after I encountered and captured a rib bunny. Got a fast travel and went home, of course, to have another raid happening. I caught some Les Punks, Lee's Punks, before the remainder bounced out. Before night, I went to the mining base to set up a ranch with a Capriti, which would hopefully help the food situation since they produce berries. On day 33, I finally had enough metal to make myself metal armor, which I hope would offer more protection. Okay, creepy. I was going to need more electric organs and levels to level up my base, so this day was spent capturing pals and defeating camps. Which one camp had a new pal, Toko Toko. Oh, it's an angry bird. Close by, there was also a weird dude who gave me some pizza. Okay, pizza guy. And I continued to stalk the electric babies while they slept. In the early morning hours of day 34, I decided to start a fight with the mini boss, King Paka. Let's go. Oh. Epic battle. The fight wasn't too bad and I managed to capture him. Maybe? Yes! Got a King Pekka! My quest for electric organs continued today and it led into what seemed like the intermediate area of the map. 
The pals were tougher, and some had attitude problems. Up until this point, none of the pals actually just aggroed on me if I didn't attack them. Ooh! I did capture Bristla after struggling for a bit. I was not quite ready for this area. Oh, we in a boss fight. We in a boss fight. Nope. Oh. Mm-mm. I'm out. So I found another fast travel and I got my butt back to base. I finally had enough organs for a power generator. Now I needed to grind for these ingots. On day 35, I decided to head back to the last fast travel I was at and take on the pals and guys there. Everyone was way stronger than me. Dang. Hmm. Oh, Ooh, I'm gonna die. That is not good. That is not good for me. These guys are strong. Oh, I'm gonna try to get her. Oh no! I eventually saved the pal when no one was looking and figured it'd be best to try and find some more Doomuds. The mining base wasn't working as efficiently as I'd like, so I figured with more of these guys it might help. I didn't find any wild ones, but I took on another camp to save a captured Doomud. Need to get my little buddy. Yes. They must be easy to capture because they're literally fish out of water. My dud mud. On day 36, I had enough materials for a sphere assembly line, which was great because that would help me craft mega spheres faster. I couldn't make many because they need ingots and pallium fragments, so I hatched a bunch of eggs. Some of the new pals I got were a Grintail and a Pen King, which had a few level 2 skills. Day 37 and another raid day, and they're getting more wild. There's so many of them. Jolt Hog, what are you doing? Rescuing? <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> I mean, it's not, but it's... Oh, no, they're rescuing the pals. Oh. After the battle, I felt the base needed some organizing, so I started trying to condense what I could into metal chest. As I was doing this, I saw a dino summon in the distance. Megaspheres in hand, I threw it at their face. I had the idea to start breeding pals I needed more of instead of trying to venture into more difficult areas trying to find some. But I didn't have any cake. Looking into my cooking pot, it was something that needed milk and honey at this point, and I had no clue where to get either. Day 38, there was a group of thugs near the mining base that had an incineram. I've tried to catch one of these every time I was raided, but I hadn't yet because of the level gap. It was only a level 10, but it turns out it really wasn't great in terms of skills. I made my way down to a place called Bamboo Groves and found another new pal called a Wooly Pop. Big old pink puffball. It wasn't too hard to capture it, and it gave me cotton candy and high quality pow oil, which seems like something I was going to need. I encountered some flyers called a Van Worm, and even though they were lower level than my Nightwing, they were still pretty tough. I caught a couple of them before spotting a wild brown cherry. They weren't as tough as the boss I faced, and I caught my first one. They were a level 3 planner, and it was starting to look like I should be treating my mining base as my main one. Based at my first base, I hatched up two eggs where I got a felt bat and a mayrath. On day 39, I had set up a crusher and another stone pit at the mining base, so I could get more pallium fragments. It was looking that I was slowly making this spot into a more functional work base. I had placed down a pickaxe and a helmet to help with mining efficiency. I wasn't sure if this would increase the speed or the amount of iron I could get, but any help is better than nothing. Day 40. One thing I needed for the high quality hot spring was cement, and one of the ingredients for that is bones. Well, you think you could get bones from everything, but that's not the case. Of the pals I know, I could get them from the Vixies and the Rush Shores, so off and on another search for more parts. And this search stank. I'd only get one or two bones every time I caught one. During my search, I encountered some Sweepa and Sweez. I caught them all. The search for bone pals was taking way too long, so I just took my monies and I went to store to buy some. Also got myself some milk while I was at it. 
Into day 41, the cement took so long to craft, but I was finally able to make the high quality hot tub. Ooh. Oh, of course you're gonna use it right away. Jeez. I had to figure out a way to make this mining base a little bit more efficient, so I had to figure out a way to use the top shelf. And of course, I get raided by some new guys now. Ooh. It's like a Zapados. Yeah. Oh. I had no chance of catching these flyers, and now I was out of Mega Spheres. But I did manage to get some stairs down. On day 42, I was slowly transporting between bases, so I was going to need something to help me a little bit. With the Mega Grappling Gun, it allowed me to move slightly faster. When it worked. I needed some more levels, and it looks like I was going to need some high quality POW oil for my next line. So I went back to more difficult area to possibly find some POWs that could give it to me. All I got was a Robin Cole with an attitude that took out my night lane. Try to get that guy. Ooh. Oh. This guy crazy. I had some Van Worms, so maybe it was time for a new flyer. 27 years later, I had a saddle. I decided I needed to work on setting up the mining base a little bit better, plus I severely was lacking in iron. There had to be a better way. On day 43, I needed some more high quality pow oil, and so far Wooly Pops were the only pals I encountered that had that. So I went back to that area, trying to catch as many as I could. While I was out there, I managed to capture a few new pals too, the Mazarina. These guys gave milk. Now, to only find where I can get some honey. On day 44, I started with some top shelf building. My idea was to keep all of the working objects away from the mining area, so the pals could focus on mining more. Also hoping that this would help with the pals clustering in one area. I broke down items from my one base, and then I brought them over to the mining area. Pretty sure Sparkit was happy I took out the generator. I had a lot of work in my first base and I was debating whether or not I should break it down completely or leave it just for farming and breeding. It was tempting to place this base in another place. Look at me doing a little rhyme. Day 45. Okay, it was time to get this base working at its best. I got a production assembly line going and I started to try and make the stair area of the base look a little nicer. The building mechanics were a little funky and it seemed like you had to build from the bottom up. I gave myself a nice little area to place my bed. At the first base, some of the babies were a little upset. Extremely unhealthy Juniper Black. Sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's pretty depressed right now. I don't know what to do. He probably just needs a hug. I think I got a... I don't know. I think I got a... Where's he at? There he is. He's a hug or some... There he is. Drugs. Give him a hug! Stop running away! Run away from your problems! Yeah, he's just a good worker. Those are usually the most depressed people. Can't pet him. Can I pet him? I guess he's Wait, he just keeps working. Do neglect so that's literally because you have to hug him. Try it. <laughs> Tell him to stop working. It's not that important. The buttons are weird, see? Can't pet him. He doesn't want to be pet right now. <laughs> Pick his the last. Alright. <laughs> Because no, he used to work on the power generator over here, and I took that away because he was he got depressed from it. Oh, little pet. Oh. Still no, I don't think that helped. Still depressed. <laughs> yeah, usually one. Still depressed. One hug. Fix that. <laughs> one hug. <laughs> he needs therapy. Yeah. I don't know. I got this one lady in here, and she got a fractured bone right now. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't know what happened. She was, she was working at the mine. <laughs> yeah, well, they better shape up because there's a lot of work to be done. Day 46, I needed so much iron. So while these guys were getting to it, I figured out I had to get some more high quality power oil. Wooly pups, here I come. There's also another pal that gave the oil and lots of it. The Relaxosaurus. Oh, that one's dead. Let me try to get that one. 
And I caught my first one. Yeah. While out on search, I also found a huge dragon egg. I wonder what kind of power will come from this egg. Heading to the egg incubator, I just hatched my first Lunaris. And I went to put the huge dragon in and it said two hours? Whatever's in here must be really cool. Day 47. I started the day with a lovely raid that managed to break through. You can go. Mm -hmm. Dang. Yeah. Alright. I'm on fire. Ooh. And they busted me up. No. Alright, alright. Some of the babies were incapacitated, but we're good. Back to getting to the mining babies taken care of and reorganized. I hope that by taking away the stone pick, they'd focus more on mining. Since there wasn't anything left for me to do besides wait for more iron. I went out to get some more ancient tech points to be able to get the PAL condenser. My Van Worm and I annihilated this boss Gumas. Easy. And I spent the rest of my day collecting water PALs since I was going to need PAL juice at some point or another. Then I saw my old friend Boss Brown Cherry. <laughs> Try it. Come on. We captured it, no problem. This day didn't end here as I kept venturing off into the little bit of a scary area with a new resource, Sulfur. Not sure what I'd need this for, but better stock up while I could. Right before leaving the area for the morning, it appeared it was getting a little too hot. Ooh. Most of day 48 was spent helping the pals around the base. I finally made a pal condenser and this thing was huge. While they were building this, I was going through my pals and menus to see if there were any items or pals that would help me get iron faster. At this point, I think all there was to do was wait. Day 49, I finally had enough ingots to make the weapons assembly line, which allowed me to upgrade my base. I could have a third base, so now it was time to figure out where I wanted to put it. I had so much of the map on Explorer and so many bosses to fight for parts, so I decided to take out some of the lower level ones. Ooh. Get out of here, dear. Oh. Day 50. So the huge dragon egg was finally done incubating and I got a Relaxosaurus. It's cool, but I was kind of hoping to get something I haven't encountered yet. So I went out for more ancient parts and I decided to take on Pen King. This was my first dungeon boss fight. I'm all catch these. Ooh. Kidding me? The little ice minions were annoying, but Van Worm and I managed to defeat and capture him no problem. Let's get him. Oh. Yay. On to my next boss, Azurobe. It's not good. She was a tough one that hit hard. Oh, mm -mm. oh, she's big. She's big. Got the bubbles. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I didn't have time to capture her as I was too focused oh, on not God. dying. Ooh. Almost died. Oh, this guy got a flamethrower? Get out of here with that. Ooh. Death was still on my cards for the night as I burned to death by trying to save Doomud from camp. I'm on fire. Get him. Get him. No! 
Day 51 started with me retrieving my stuff and getting a new do mud for the mining base. While in this area, I encountered a new pal, a Unibolt. They weren't too hard to deal with with the Mega Spears. I headed back to base and was upgrading to the improved furnace, and a new ingot showed up. A refined ingot. And it needed a new resource, coal. Now I needed to find some place that had coal. It's probably somewhere dangerous like a desert or snow mountain or somewhere stupid like that. And it seems like the areas get pretty hot and pretty cold in this game. So I needed to make some heat resistance armor, but not before hatching up some eggs. I got a flame bell. It's cute. And then I got raided by some flying hyena pals. They were pretty tough, but I managed to capture my very first level 27 beacon. A new flyer. There we go. So I had to make the saddle. But there were still a few items I needed before I could do so. Day 52 started with hatching a kelp sea ignis, looking like a fire drag teeny. I had a problem keeping the pals fed, so I spent the night before trying to get more ingredients to make better food. I made a tomato planter and I started working on the beacon saddle. My heat resistance armor was ready, along with my saddle, and I was looking pretty nice. I set out to find coal and I came across camp with a syndicate crusher. What is that thing? Mm -mm. You know what? Let's go. Let's try. Beacon lit his butt up. Get him. Dang. This day was filled with so much action since I came across a boss Nightwing, defeated and captured it. Nice. I spent what seemed like forever flying off to a tree in the distance that I don't think really led to anywhere. To be honest, I was a little nervous I'd get hit with the world border and despawn. So I headed back to the Forgotten Island to fight some thugs for a Nox. I found some crazy huge bones. I wonder what pals these belong to. On day 53, I got my new cold resistant armor, so I figured I'd be set no matter what the climate was like. I went out to explore and I found some coal close to the desert biome. I figured while I was here, I'd check it out. There was a ton of coal right here, which could be a really good coal mining spot. This big statue. Ooh. Anubis. You just hang out here like that? Anubis boss was really close to here though, so hopefully he doesn't wander too far. But I think this was a good spot, so I placed down a pal box and pulled out some pals to get rid of some of the trees. I immediately got raided. I just moved here. What, were they hazing me or something? Get him. Oh, it's crazy out here. Dang. The pals also spent another night with no beds. <laughs> I build my best beds at night. That's how I work. On day 54, I tried putting up some defenses as the pals here were a little bit more grumpy. While they were mining, I had a ton of eggs that needed hatching, so I figured I'd set up another area where I could separate the types of eggs that I needed, hot incubation versus cool. At the new cold base, I had to give dig toys. I love turtles, and these guys are just so cool looking. Ooh. It was a little tough getting my first one, but I got it down. Yes! Dig toys! Ooh, let's get some do muds. Let's get some do muds. I also caught some more of my do mud buddies. Oh, I missed it. These guys both give up high quality pal oil, which is great. I was so excited I was able to get more of these guys. So far, they were my favorite. Day 55. I had a bunch of ammo I've collected so far, and I feel like now was the time to make some weapons to use them. Plus, I ventured into tougher areas the pals were getting harder to handle. Also, it seems like I was getting raided every day. No! Get out of here. Come back, dear. <laughs> oh, no. Let them try to mess with me now. I had to test out the difference. Oh, this is so much better. We were gonna have to start making bullets now. So much farm to be had. I need more handy pals at the base. Luckily, Lavander spawned here at night. On day 56, I made a ranch to let loose some food pals to try and keep these babies fed. Hatching some eggs, I got a Rayhound, which didn't seem like anything I needed right now. Most of this day was spent trying to get the coal pals happy as the work conditions were not that great. And you know what? I'm not that kind of boss. On day 57, I hatched an egg and got my first Bushi. Then a few of the pals were a bit eager to help me craft Dig Toys' headband. This is kind of intimate, buddy. 
Alright, everybody wants in. This will allow them to completely demolish iron nodes. The rest of the day was spent mostly crafting some items and getting more iron. On day 58, I went out to the center and started to capture some cinemoths for the first time. Iron was still lacking and I needed some better spears. This area allowed me to get mega spears and giga spears from these foals. The pals were tougher in this area and it looked like I needed to get more resources and fast. Oh, I was close to another mini boss and I decided to take a level 30 elf for drawn. The musket hit hard, but it was so slow and I almost died. Oh no! Double tornadoes! Oh no no no! Oh, double tornado! Oh my gosh! I got it. Maybe. Let's try. I managed to capture it with a hypersphere though. That was a tough fight and I felt like I needed to look over my party and kit to see if there was anything else I could do to help. Maybe I just needed some stronger pals. But before the end of this day, I hatched a Lee's Punk Ignis. It was day 59 and I hadn't used any shields up to this point, so maybe it was time to make one? I made the strongest one I could at the time, the Giga Shield. This gave me an extra bar on top of my health. Well, that would have been useful. Hatched myself a pirate knock before I took myself to the store because I needed bones. A lot of the new items needed cement, it seems, and buying the bones was faster than getting the creatures who had them. Some of the items also needed quartz, which looked like crystal. And if I know anything about survival games, usually crystal is in the north or in a dungeon. So I figured the north would be a good bet to find some, plus I hadn't explored it yet. Whoa, the pals here are way out of my level range. So I just swiped some eggs and left. Figured I'd at least try to take down a boss for more parts. So I fought Catris for the first time. I was like, we'll need some King Pack action. Let's go. They weren't too bad, but this musket was just so slow. What happened to him? Yeah. Ooh. I wanted to try and capture them, but I accidentally killed it. Mm -mm. Oops. Oh, I didn't mean to kill her. I was on a boss high, so I thought I'd try to take out a level 25 Fingalope. Trouble was I couldn't find it. But I did find and capture this new pal, a Cognito. Wow. On day 60, I found a mine shaft I wanted to explore, thinking it'd be similar to a dungeon. I figured maybe they were the same and I could get some ammo instead of having to make it. It was very dark in here and then I got stuck in the world? What's going on? Hello. Okay, man, I'm stuck in the wall. That's great. Finally. Okay. I don't know if I want to go back in there. Everything under the world? Are we all under the world? Oh, there's Fangalope. What's going on? After trying for what seemed like forever, I had to log out and switch some settings around just so I could get unstuck out of the world. Yes. Alright. Don't worry, I switched stuff back. Since I was back at base, I stuck the big eggs in the incubator. They were going to take a while. I was scared, but I wanted to try going back into that mine shaft, so I made myself a hip lantern. This little thing lit up the area. Dang! These caverns led to the drifting cloud Fangalope. Clouds meaning I can burn it with fire, right? Ooh, what is that? They had some crazy green rain going on. Ooh! Mm-mm. Mm -mm. But I got it down enough to capture my first Fangalope. Well, yeah. Let's try again. Is he on fire? 
Go. Come on. Come on. Use the other one. There we go. Fang loop. It was overwhelming with this many new pals I was constantly getting, but I didn't feel the need to switch out my party unless I got something super crazy. Wrapping this day up quickly, I also caught new pals Robin Quill. Yeah. Loot Moon. And a Hell Zephyr. Yeah. 30%. Okay. Back bonus. New dice from Hell Zephyr's Inferno. This is an edge lord. All cool looking pals, but I wasn't sure if I needed any of them now. I wander around some more on day 61 looking for new pals in new areas I hadn't been in yet. I found a level 22 Goriat that I somehow managed to capture on 1%. Yeah. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> then I encountered some bee bombers. Oh, 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 oh. This thing's trying to explode. What I found from the Bee Garde was they dropped honey, which was an ingredient necessary for cake, which was something needed if I wanted to do any kind of breeding. I also captured a Masanda, this big mossy man bear thing. I freed some more pals and I came across some weird fish goblins. Oop, ha! Oop, ha! I was able to catch two of them. <laughs> Close by there was also a level 29 dungeon. I was hoping it wasn't anything too bad. I first encountered a Catrus that had all these dark blob balls that they hurled at my head. I caught my first. Try and get her? There we go. Some of the enemies in the cave included some alliance dudes, Catrus, Bigarde, Loot Moon, and a felt bag. I captured what I could until I got to the end where I faced a level 28 Gale Claw. I was kind of expecting something crazier, but I guess I would try and capture this one too. I hit up so many of my balls. Alright, try this one, buddy. Oh my gosh. Annoying. Please? I swear. <laughs> but I finally got. Uh, I was also rewarded with some cool items at the end in the dungeon. Most of day 62 was spent rearranging and organizing the PAL so I could get some more of the items I needed. Out of the eggs I got, two Mammoth Christ, which that was also pretty cool, as then I wouldn't have to fight any of those mammoths anytime soon. This did cause me to level up and be able to unlock the refined metal armor. It needed a high quality cloth though, which sucks since I already changed all my wool to cloth, so I barely had any and I needed to get some wool pals in all the ranches. You okay? okay. Day 63 was raid day again. At the first base, it was a bunch of dudes. No worries here since I needed the ammo. At the mining base, a bunch of punks. They busted up my fence a little bit, but I managed to get my first Incineram knock. Which was basically an Incineram and Hot Topic flavor. Then another raid by Flying Pals at the coal base. Sometimes these raids end up taking up all the time and the day ends up being done. Which was the case here. On day 64, I needed some more ancient civilization parts. So it was time to take out some of these bosses and hopefully capture a few along the way. I figured I'd be able to take out any of these mini bosses with no problem if they were around or under level 30. First up was Bushi, the Flame Samurai. Your blade, meet my slow loading musket. Thunderbird. And Gigasphere. Easy. Next one to take out was Univolt, and Dig Toys being a ground pal was up next. Oh. This guy Get was him. fast. Get him. Not sure how I avoided most of these attacks, but it happened and then they were caught. Next, I had to go to a mine shaft to face a level 30 Bronze Cherry Aqua. I got some frags I wanted to try out and whiffed on both of them. So, back to the old turtle musket and beacon. Hyper Sphere to the face. The gluttonous Thunder Dragon, the relaxed Saurus Lux. This derpy thing just kind of got in its own way. And Dig Toys took care of them quickly. Another one down. To end off the night, I faced the Lady of the Garden, Patalia, 
Grass pal, meet Vanny. What a way to wake up. Sorry, lady, but I need those parts. She only had two? Day 65. I was a little more than halfway through this challenge and I had caught 87 different pals so far. I would need to explore more of the map and try to locate some more pals. I hadn't gone south yet, so now it was time to go down under. Off in the distance of the water, I could see a spiky structure, and getting closer to it, come to find it was a wildlife sanctuary. Mm. Is this the ghetto? Oh wait, this is nice. Look at that fancy deer. Yeah. And capture. Oh snap, the lady of the lake is here too? Yeah. They even had an elf for drawn. Which I spent like four balls trying to capture. Alright, I felt like i seen enough. I was pretty close to the Lunaris once I got back to shore and figured I might as well jump them while they slept. Did a good chunk of damage. I wanted to capture it, but I ended up killing it. Dems to breaks. On day 66, I went to a dungeon to get some more pals, but this one was full of mostly Grintails and then a Grintail boss. Kind of a ripoff. There we go. But I did get a heat resistant undershirt at the end of this, so I guess it was worth it. Next stop was a mine shaft to fight Elizabeth. Two of her babies tried to blow us up right away. The one that was left I ended up catching. Nice. Get those levels. This fight was tougher than it should have been. I think mostly because I tried to catch her. I wasted so many spears on her, but I gained another level. Waste all my balls on her. Come on! Here we go. Eesh. That was a rough one. I was a little nervous about the next one since this dude was scary looking. Attacking at night definitely helped for an opening attack. Warsec was a ground and grass pal, which would be an awesome addition if I could capture it. Its attacks weren't too bad, but when it came after you, I felt like there was nowhere to escape to. With the help of my Van Worm, I managed to capture the Colossus. All right. The morning of day 67 started with a slight tragedy due to a pigeon raid. <laughs> you good guy? Oh no. Look at this little man just taking <laughs> Taking this guy. Hey. Just a little sleep and you'll be okay, buddy. It's hard to hit flying things with the sword. With a new level, I unlocked and built a lettuce planter for some more tasty foods. I knew I was catching a lot of pals and looking in my pal box, I had three spaces left. I was going to need to get rid of some of these pals. So off to the market, I uh, mean park. We go pals. Things were getting a bit tougher, so I was going to need some better armor. Made myself some of the refined metal armor and I gotta say it was looking pretty nice. Uh, Rob, you're looking very spiffy now. Now off to more dangerous areas, which took me to fight a Masanda Lux. Masanda Lux versus Warsuk. Well, I got the perfect ground buddy for your butt. Get in there, Warsuk. I'll mess these guys up. Mm -mm. Oh no, he's coming after me. Oh, he's coming after me. Okay, let's try it. I'll bring you back. Come on, Masanda Lux. I caught it. Yes. Mosanda Lux. You're a little beast, huh? <laughs> Day 68. Tougher armor meant I could go to the north, right? Since it's always tough up there. There was like snow and lava in this direction. Some wildfire pals, too. Hyper steers all the way now, since I'm rich with the bones of my enemies. <gasps> Wixen was among some of the new pals I captured, which was basically a fire goth catris. 100. At this point, I tried on taking bosses as I was near their spawns. Oh, you know karate. So the next up was level 35 Burdash. Oh, this might be a little tough. Oh. It was so fast I could barely outfly it. He's like a ninja. Oh, get away from me. Let's try. Yes. Another one in the deck. I found myself in the snow fighting some rain tricks. Pretty fancy deer. There we go. I was very close to another syndicate tower here, but I couldn't explore long as it got too cold and I had to get home quickly. I'd need some cold resistant armor at this level, but it looks like it wasn't unlocked until level 50. 
I think I could make it work with two undershirts, but I'm not sure yet. Since I wasn't outside like I wanted to be, I spent the night squishing my pals together in the condenser. Day 69 started off hot, which was expected. Day 69. Turn it up another notch, figured I could get a little bit of breeding going on. As soon as I was able to, I was making cakes in the background, which is needed to get pals making the love. Warsec the Missanda locks in the pen you go. Go get her, big boy. Here we go. Enemies turn lovers overnight. They are getting busy in the pen, getting busy in the pen without doing it. I wonder what I'll get between these two. It was quite the spectacle for everyone to see. Uh, can I help y'all? Everybody's just staring at these guys, making a baby. The way breeding works in pal world, you don't need two pals to be the same type of pal in order to have them breed. You just need one male and one female, and they'll get to it. I don't know, she's working a little slow. We got a pillow princess here. Each cake will give you one egg, which these two happen to produce a large scorching egg. Someone's mad they didn't get any. What do you guys want? Maybe if I put some large pal beds, some of them can get lucky. Oh, this bed is nice. Someone partied too hard. Day 70. A couple of these pals partied way too hard. Time to see what would come from yesterday's love fest, and I got my first pirate. So breeding in this game realistically makes no sense. Cool. Keeping the heat up, I went to explore the volcano hoping to find some new fire pals and eggs to level up. I had my first battle with a Reptyro and ended up defeating it, even though that wasn't the plan. The hyperspheres I had didn't seem like they'd be the best to work here. Oh, come on. Oh, we killed it. So I spent the day collecting eggs and unlocking fast travel points. I found a level 30 Gobfin Ignis at the top that was a little easier to capture because of its level. Try to get you. Nighttime at the volcano wasn't so bad and I spotted a weird blue flame in the distance. I came upon a Blaze Owl Knock and a Ragnarok. Both were scary looking, but I had to try. Come on, get him. Bronze Cherry Ding Dong wanted to fight in the lava. Right. I used quite a few hyper spears, but eventually I caught it. Come on. Yes. Then the Ragnarok wanted it. All right, let's go. Fire tornadoes. Let's try it. Oh. Dipping and dodging the natos, I finally got it. Can't believe I got it. I definitely need some stronger spears moving forward. There's no space available in pal box. Day 71 was when I discovered the point where my pal box was full. I made the choice to leave behind the Gale Claw to pick up the Ragnarok and make my way to the next closest fast travel, which was within this castle structure. I condensed some pals, unloaded my eggs and inventory, and went back on a rescue mission for my Gale Claw. This was a pretty cool feature, drop pals show as a red X on your map. I got it back, picked up a few more eggs, and headed back to base, to be met with a dozen dorks at my door. Yo, it was like two seconds. What was that? That was so weird. And some of the pals didn't do so well. Day 72 started off with hatching a Reptyro, which was awesome for the mining base as they had level 3 mining and kindling. Got this guy going to work. I figured with some of the new, stronger fire pals I had, I'd be able to take on another tower boss. So I thought I'd go to the Free Pal Alliance Tower in the Snow Region. Uh. Lily and her pal Lyleen were waiting for me. Oh, that's cool. Please hell out. Let's see what you can do. They were a grass type and lucky for me with my new fire pals. Ooh. We got a double arrow shotgun. Let's see what we can do. Dang. Let's uh, throw you out. Oh. Alright. That's it. Oh no! Oh no! Woo -hoo. Get her! Funny enough, one of them was defeated by Did her, it. but in the end, my team was victorious. Yeah. Taking one for the team! Oh, that was a tough one. Of course the day wouldn't be complete without another raid. This time by the PAL Genetic Research Unit. You know what? I'm opening the door. There you go. Get in there. Ooh. 
I needed more levels, so on day 73, I started off by facing Quiverin. I mean, my little shots ain't doing much. Let's see. It wasn't much of a challenge, and I got it captured easy. That's enough. crazy. That was easy. Then I went around capturing pals I didn't have 10 of yet. Yeah. 100%. When I got to the base, the huge dragon egg was ready, which gave me a human tide ingus. Just like everyone knows. Another raid happened with a Van Worm Christ. I tried to capture it, but they weren't happy. One. Yeah. Oh. Come on. Where are they going? Oh no. On day 74, I thought I'd try to capture this level 38 Mamoris that plagued my eyes since day one. Nice. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Fire tornadoes. Oh! I didn't capture it, but I managed to check It'd it off my boss list. crazy got them, but ooh. They dropped a bunch of POW oil and maybe worth farming a lot for of that stuff. and for levels. Later that day, I did capture my first out in the wilds while I explored more of the map. Oh, that's strong. Yeah. Here we get him. Nice. Day 75, my exploring led me to a cave that had a few different pals I could catch but not keep since the pal box was full. Three fourths of the way through and it seems like this was going to be a problem for the rest of the playthrough. Yeah. I did get a couple of good prizes at the end of the dungeon though. Day 76. I was seriously lacking in ammo at this point and it was getting more time consuming to craft anything. I figured there might be a place I can go to buy what I need. With so much of the map left unexplored, I headed to the mountains. On my way there, I found this black market dude just hanging off the side of this cliff. That was weird. He didn't have anything I wanted, but I sold some pals here. It'll be okay, buddy. Upon entering the snow domain, there was two Van Worm fighting each other. Fire and ice. Well, I capitalized on this and I caught the ice one when it wasn't looking. <laughs> nice. Seems like there was another tower here, so I had to unlock it for later, as this was just an exploration mission. I just kept collecting eggs until my inventory couldn't hold anymore. Day 77, I got hit with two raids today, before I hatched this Wumpo. Oh wait, make that three raids. You guys missed day 69. On day 78, I was able to craft the heat resistant refined metal armor. So I took that as a sign to explore more of the volcano. Good thing I did as I found this little dock called Fisherman's Point with a guy who sold ammo. It was pricey, but it beats crafting it. I went back to base to get some more money and decided to hatch some of the eggs before going back out. I got a Suzaku Aqua and a Reptyro Christ. I really liked the way this guy looked and I had to put him down in the base. Went back to the dock and bought some ammo and I figured why not take another tower boss on. I had the armor, so I went to the Tower of the Brothers of the Eternal Fire. <laughs> Axel and Orser awaited me here. Weird. It was a dragon electric type at the volcano, and that was another electric type boss. Van Worm Christ was my strongest pal right now and was actually doing some work. But they were kind of weak against its attacks. I did not have the right party for this. I had only two pals that were kind of strong against them. I did okay dodging the attacks, but the problem was I couldn't inflict enough damage in time before the timer ran out. Ultimately, I was defeated. So it just kicked me out. Ugh. I barely got their health even halfway. Oh. I was going to need some stronger ground pals. So I got my stuff back and I retreated to rethink my strategy. Day 79. To catch some of the stronger pals, I'd need stronger spears. To craft the ultra spears, I'd need the spear assembly line too. One of the resources I needed was quartz. Now, my survival gaming knowledge tells me something like this is usually in caves or on the mountains. I needed some ice pals anyway, so I figured I'd get two birds with one stone. After searching for a bit, I did find some quartz in the mountains, and some wumpos wanted to bother me while I was gathering, so I gathered them. I can get you. Let's try. <laughs> I 
No way. I got it. <laughs> On day 80, I hatched a Sibilix. And I had enough resources to craft a spear launcher and a spear assembly line too. I couldn't make many ultra spears, but at least it was something. Look at this piece of poop. You know you didn't do anything. On day 81, I need to explore some of the map to hopefully find some higher level pals. And I left this desert area a bit well deserted, so I made my way over. I instantly saw some new pals at a higher level that I honestly wasn't sure if I could take. So I figured this mostly be exploratory and I'd collect eggs and chests. There was this little town in the desert which was a little weird, but it had some guys selling ammo. This was great as it was super expensive and time consuming to make. I had tons of coin at this point, so it made sense to just buy it. I came upon a group of serpent terras in their 30s, which weren't too bad at first, and I managed to capture one before they rolled up the whole crew and busted up my beacon. I still captured a few more to add to my ground and pound army. Oh, you little butthole. On day 82, I found my way to another wildlife sanctuary, and this was number 3, so apparently I was missing a number 2. I ended up seeing this crazy Final Fantasy looking dude here named Astagon. Who the heck is that? Let's go. Oh my gosh. It was tough, but I managed to catch it on the first try. I needed more ground buddies, so Verdash nice. came with the speedy feet to the mouth. Nice. I found some double boss action in the middle of the desert I was in no shape ready for. I gotta be able to fight that. As I uncovered more of the map, I found dirty versions of Dinosum and Robin Quill. Dinosum Lux and Robin Quill Terra, they both look like the whack dookie skin that you get when you're playing like a 1v1 fighting game. And you and your opponent pick the same character. Yeah, I wasn't feeling them, but they had to be added to the deck. On day 83, I prepared my new ground team with some of the right attacks and I went to fight Azurk again. Astagon was my strongest pal, so I wanted to see what they could do, and it wasn't much. They kind of just seemed too big for themselves and just ate the attacks. So I threw out a few of my higher level ground guys. Uh, we did better? Ooh, it ain't happening. Oh no. I still couldn't do enough damage, and I totally forgot about the ice pals. Oh. Let's go Once here. getting my stuff, I was focused on sleep. getting the highest ground pal I could get, and that was Anubis. So I waited yeah, till they were asleep to attack. Okay, let's go for it. Yeah. Astagon got beat up, along with Warsec. Verdash was doing pretty alright, but the fight was dragging for a bit and Anubis hit hard. We have to go back to base. Let's go back to base. The fight kept going into day 84 and it got to the point where Anubis got so close to my base that I unleashed them all on him. Let's break that down. Come on, get him. There were a lot of casualties this day. Hey, I spent a good it. portion uh, of the day switching out pals and trying to bust him let's up. Let's do that. He even got stuck in the wall at? at some point. I thought this was it for me finally. Okay. I only got so many of these. And with only 124 HP left, he got me. <laughs> Come on, please. Oh, 
no. Oh. When I got back, Anubis had full HP again. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, I gotta heal everybody. This took almost a whole in-game day. That's just dumb. The base, which didn't have the best conditions in the first place, was doing even worse. Oh no. Even the wandering salesman? I didn't even know this guy was here. So I gotta get all the busted babies to bed now. Day 85. The grinding for materials and levels was kind of tough at this point, and I found myself selling any extra pals I didn't need. My best bet was just to try and explore more of the map and defeat what pals I could. I headed to the ice mountains and I found some cryo links. These hyperspheres weren't cutting it anymore as I needed multiples to catch any of these higher level pals. Nighttime made it slightly easier and I was able to catch some Hengu Christ. On day 86, a Memorous Christ was added as well, and I felt with these Ice Pals I have a better chance at fighting the boss. I thought if I could capture most of the boss type pals, I'd be better off with a good party. Dueling Tornadoes! I attempted to do this with the Memorous. It kind of messed me up, but I got it with a Hyper Spear, surprisingly. Come on. Alright, got it. I made the second production assembly line that these bums slacked off in making. Are you serious, bud? Are you serious? Really? I gave them better tools for the job, and this is how they act. Ungrateful. What a butthole. There we go. I also had a super quick fight with the mini boss Do Mud in the middle of the night, because you know what? Why not? Day 87, I leveled up with some pals I didn't have 10 of yet, and I could finally unlock the legendary spear. But man, were they expensive. I needed to make the electric furnace for PAL ingots, and I need circuit boards and polymer, which needed PAL oil. So I bought and sold and bought and sold and sold and bought and bought and sold some things. Day 88, I was farming some quartz for circuit boards, but I also tried to explore more of the snow mountains while I was at it. I finally got my electric furnace built, and it took forever to finally get one legendary spear. Ugh, this was going to take a while. Day 89 came and I had finally enhanced and upgraded my base to the max. Somehow it didn't feel like it though, as I barely had enough of materials to do anything it seemed. That, and it took so long to make any of these late game items. It was going to take some time to smelt the ingots, so I went back out to the desert. You know what? I don't even know what I was doing at this point. It was looking kind of grim. I had 10 days left to defeat 3 tower bosses and catch the rest of the pals, and it was looking like I might miss it. I didn't want to give up just yet though. I think I figured if I went out, maybe I could get some eggs with the pals I needed, as well as find some more mini bosses I could possibly use for the tower bosses. I did find something. Not a boss, but these losers decided to gang up on a lone Suzaku. So I just kind of sat back while they whittled down its health, and then I made uh, my move. Here we go. Come on. Come on! Or moves. More. <laughs> yeah, how am I supposed to catch this guy? Just, just get caught, please. Just get caught. Come on! I must have used like over 20 spears, one being a legendary. Come on. Come on. Yes, the game finally felt bad for me. Suzaku, got it. <laughs> this was ridiculous, but I could mark off another in the book. On day 90, I realized Paldium Fragments were now the issue, so I had placed more crushers down, and I had only water ability pals working on that. I couldn't even catch anything right now. I needed the better spears to have a chance of catching anything over level 35, and anything else would just take up the very little space that I had left in the box. I needed levels, but I needed to wait. Day 91. Someone's feeling neglected. Well, get ready for more, because I had to go back out, little baby. To the volcano today. I didn't catch anything but eggs and heat stroke. Give it to me. I found another dragon at level 50 named Jetragon. Yeah, there was no way. Let's get out of here. Oh yeah, and check out this wildlife sanctuary number two, they say. Found a high level Wumpo Botan. Grass type? Meet my flames. 
Wumpo Botan. On day 92, I got a few big boy grass types, so time to go show Anubis who's boss. Yeah, what's up, man? Eat my grass. I wasted a couple of spears, but eventually I landed Anubis. Come on, please. Yes, for sure I'd be able to take on Axert now. I need a strong water pal, so on day 93, it was time to take on Gyarados. I mean, Jormantite. I needed the lightning babies for this one. It was okay at first, and I was able to lure it out of the water where all my pals could attack it. Get him. Then something weird happened. Ooh. Where'd he go? <laughs> okay. Then it was kind of stuck in the middle with none of the pals being able to attack it. I tried to go in on Beacon and they got busted up. Then it was just like floating like a turd in the water. Ooh, this is scary. And I had to painfully shoot it from far and wheedle down its health, which unfortunately took most of this day. There we go. I guess it's cool I only use one spear this time. Yes, Gyarados Splash. On day 94, I took my next boss, which was a level 49 Blazamut. This guy was a pain to fight. All its attacks were so big in this tiny little cave, it was hard not to get messed up. Plus, Jorman time was almost too big for the cave and kept getting stuck. Fire in the hole! Day 95. Let's get some ice bosses now. Level 46 King Pack of Christ was just chilling in a cave. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, he missed. Oh, dang. It's crazy how fast we smoke this thing with Blossoma and my new assault rifle. Like, get him out. All right, that was easy. That was easy. I felt good about this, so I decided to take on my first level 50 boss, the Frost Stallion. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. It looked cute in its picture, but uh, it was kind of big and scary. In a My Little Pony kind of way. Mm. No. <laughs> Blazamut was almost taken out. Oh, that's a lot. Ragnarok wasn't doing too hot either. And Suzaku is uh, mm -hmm. just kind of bad. Oh, almost died. Oh no! <laughs> I actually had to make a newer, better set of armor to get my stuff back since the pelt armor wasn't enough. Oh boy. I don't think I could take it on at this level, but it didn't stop me from capturing more pals. I found a fox sickle. Maybe I'll just get it right from the get go. Let's try. 30%. Preferred <laughs> Foxicle. <laughs> and a Kitsune. Taken out while they were sleeping. <laughs> I went to the wildlife sanctuary to see if there was any pals I could get, and a Grizzbolt just showed up that I just took out from behind. There we go. Being the electric hunter that I am, it was time to take out Orzer and Co. Brought my ground and ice boys to the fight, and it was predominantly Anubis earthbending all over these chumps. Dang, look at that damage. At some point, I threw everyone else in for a turn, but no one was doing the damage that Anubis did. Like, Wumpo might be stronger. Oh, dang. Let's throw Wumpo yeah. out. <laughs> it freezes butt. Anubis fell. But I still had this. I actually forgot about Warsec, and they popped in the last minute to take all the credit. Yeah. <laughs> we just got here. <laughs> we did it. We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it, did it. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, don't disrespect him like that. On day 97, I need some big firepower to take out these last bosses. So I spent most of the day crafting anything that could help me to fight the level 50 legendary pal Jetragon. But oh, on my way over to its little hellhole, I saw a blaze howl, which I quickly captured. Ooh, no fire! 
I'm still in the capturing game. <laughs> Let's go. And the breath. All right, get off. Oh, that was one hit. Are you serious? Oh, oh. Uh, so Jetragon was no joke. That was one hit. Oh no, I have no way of getting out now. Um, it's stuck. It looks like they ended up in the stupidest spot ever. Okay, let me throw a guy down there. We're gonna deal with that. None of my pals did anything, and my musket barely did anything. With each hit being only like 10 points. I'd be here another 100 days if I did with this method. The fight led into day 98, and they ended up resetting themselves to their spawn. Great, I did one. Come over here. I thought maybe if I could lead it off, I could do some fall damage to it, but this guy was relentless. Oh my gosh, that was fast. But I'm stubborn as well, and I wasn't giving up. I tried and tried to get them to come off the ledge, and none of my weapons were barely doing anything. I ain't gonna be able to get him. He hits hard, man. And all my pals just sat there like turds. So I had to admit defeat. Dang. For now. And make the long trek, or should I say swim, back to the nearest fast travel. I didn't have any saddles for the pals in my party, and with the flyer out, this was painful. I tried getting to a higher ledge to perhaps glide to a fast travel, but I fell off into the water. No! Oh my gosh, I gotta go all the way around. Okay. With no stamina, I started to die. I'm gonna die in the water. I'm gonna die in the water. Oh, oh my gosh. And then I tried getting back. Oh my gosh, it's too hot. Are you kidding me? I have to make stupid armor just to get over here. I had to make new armor. Like this. But why am I hot? It's heat resistant armor. Why am I hot? Then died again. Doesn't have any shirts on. Are you kidding me? I needed the hot shirts just to survive. So then I had to go to the store to go buy some more before I could attempt to even get my stuff. Weird spot to put my stuff, but here is my stuff. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Guess we can go over to the sanctuary over here. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Let's go. Let's see if we can collect some more pals because we are clearly underprepared we we do not have strong enough pals i'm seeing this out though i'm seeing it out i'm seeing it through i grabbed a wumpo botan and i'm not sure why my brain was scrambled from too many dragon laser blasts this day just sucked day 99 i was having a moment with myself and seeing as this was my last hour of gameplay in this 100 days the game thought it'd be pretty cool to not let me log on Why? I was trying for at least 40 minutes. <laughs> Finally, after like 20 tries. Oh. I was pretty broke, but you know what? Some of the pals were really strong, and since we weren't going to be able to catch all the pals, we can at least fight these bosses. Yes, please. Could I have an egg in this trying time? I bought whatever ammo I could and I headed off to the PIDF tower. I had no clue what to expect and I just hoped for the best. Let's go. How tall is this guy? Like eight foot five? Oh, he rich. <laughs> mm. Okay, so fire guy. Uh, so fire guys, my fire guys versus your fire guys. This is an Ash Ketchum kind of fight. Okay. Oh, you could zap me through the thing or maybe you're electric. Alright, this ain't so bad. Now it is. Because I ran out of ammo. 
No. Yeah, there. Are we doing good? I can't tell. I was actually doing pretty okay. Ooh, hot! Until I was not. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do I switch my thingy over? What do I do? Oh, I don't have that much health left. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Ooh. Get away from me! Get out of my face. Come on. Oh, we're sick. Okay, wait. Let's throw you out. Ooh. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I don't know if Ask the Gun's doing it. Oh, no! Ask the Gun! Move your big butt! Ooh. Ask the Gun, why? Ooh. It's toasty! Right in his stupid face. <laughs> it's so toasty! Come on, you're in time. We're gonna keep fighting to the last minute. Come on. No. Oh. Uh, we ran out of time. One more. No. Oh, this is so tough. I mean, we got further than we did with the other dude, but oh my gosh. Oh, day 99. How do you think day 100 is going to go? It was day 100 and coming up short on my pal goal and defeating only three of the five tower bosses. You know what? For craps and cackles, let's do the final boss. I needed to see what I was getting myself into. All right, here we go. Ice? Ice, maybe? So we got some fire dudes. Oh, this thing is crazy. Shadow Beak. Not ice. Not ice. Okay, get out. Are they doing all right? Oh, they are not doing okay. Oh, ice or not ice. I can't tell. Oh, no, this is bad. Am I getting hit? How am I getting hit with so many things? No. Oh, oh. I can't even tell when this thing's hitting me. Are those slow balls? Fast balls? What's going on? Dorkman Tide, are you okay? You are uh, not doing it. Oh, this thing's crazy looking. <laughs> oh, <my God>. oh. <laughs> you can blast through the pillars. Oh, I'm just going to die with this one. Okay, I think I'm safe. No, I'm not safe. <laughs> What kind of attacks are those? We just gotta j dodge! Oh no. Yeah, we were nowhere near ready for that one. Oh my gosh. That went like I thought. Ugh. I mean, much, much worse, but you know, it's in the same container. This ain't happening. Oh man. Oh boy. Your men died. His eyes are bloodshot. Yeah, I got stabbed in the face with dark magic attacks. You, you, you take a nap. We started our journey with a tablet stating that the tree holds the truth. Well, maybe it has the truth to why I suck so bad. So I flew my Ragnarok to the tree. Real talk though, I went into this as blind as I could since power blew up everywhere. But I wanted to give it a true first time experience. I got my butt beat by bosses and I didn't capture all the pals. So there's two things I could do my friends. Option 1. I can attempt the challenge from the beginning, starting over brand new again right at day 1. Oh, by the way, the tree is past the world border, so we're not finding out the truth today. But, here's option 2. 
Pal World is still in early access, which means they could be adding additional content such as new pals, bosses, items, you know, all the good stuff. So what I could do is I could do another 100 days once more of the game is released and I just continue on this save, making a 200 days video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed any part of this video, be sure to give it a like. And if you like 100 days type videos, consider subscribing. I like hearing about other people's gaming experiences and I have a Discord that I'll link down below that is free to join. And just for fun, I'm going to take Anubis to bust up Grizzbolt's face real quick, since he seems to be the mascot for Power World. <laughs> yeah, I could just stand here. I'm just gonna sit here and watch you beat him up. Don't even need to be in the fight. Oh, that's it. Look at me. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's on. Easy. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.